I, I gotta say, there's just something about being here in good old Bay Head um, in this wonderful space to marry the two of you and set you forward on your wonderful journey together. Emily, you've looked absolutely gorgeous today. Uh, stunningly beautiful. You look gorgeous today. You look gorgeous right now. Um, and I just want to tell you how much I've appreciated getting to know you. Um, you've become a friend. And uh, I know how much you mean to Matt. And that means even more to me. We're the way back to the stars. We are the dreamers. We are the dreamers. We're the fire that lights up the dark. Millions of faces. A reading from the Dalai Lama. Take into account that great love and great achievements involve great risk and that a loving atmosphere in your home is the foundation for your life. Be gentle with the earth, be gentle with one another. In the shadows we glow, as the world falls asleep, we're the voices that don't, and together we sing. Emily, I'm so lucky to have you, not only as a big sister, but as a best friend, a playmate, a roommate, a travel companion, a partner in crime, a confidant, and as a role model. There's never a day that goes by when I'm not continuing to learn from the example Emily setting and I constantly find myself thinking about how fortunate I am to have had such an amazing role model and big sister in my life always leading the way. Matt, you make my sister happier than I've ever seen her in my 26 years and although I've only known you for a little over 26 months, I think it's easy to see how happy she makes you too. Matt, I love you, buddy. Uh, you are one of the most caring and loyal people that I know uh, and that I have ever met in my life. Uh, if I've ever needed anything, you've been there in the drop of a hat. There's no question, Matt, that you are immensely lucky to have found Emily, but I can tell you that, Emily, you are absolutely uh, incredibly lucky that you found Matt. He's such a great guy. I have no question in my mind uh, that Matt will love you like this for the rest of your life. Emily, you and Matt have taught me, and probably a lot of people in this room, what marriage is all about. Unconditional love, companionship, respect, understanding, honesty, fun, forgiveness. And I've seen you both demonstrate these traits effortlessly in your relationship every day. Thank you both for setting such a great example. And I know I will continue to learn so much from your marriage as you two grow together. To Mr. and Mrs. Seckman, I love you guys so much and couldn't be happier for you. Cheers. Emily, a.k.a. Pats, <laughs> you look absolutely beautiful tonight. Your mom and I are, your mom and I are so happy and so proud of you. Uh, I noticed early on that you were a person who always followed her heart and her dreams. Whether it was travel across Bucknell or most recently your move to Boston, you never let obstacles, naysayers, roadblocks get in your way. I have no doubt you'll keep doing better and better and more amazing things as time marches on. Your mom and I love you very, very much. Matt, we look forward to having another male in the household, especially during football season. <laughs> um, and I also know we're going to learn a lot more about all things Boston and New England sports, which is great. Um, but, but seriously, we've uh, gotten to know you these past couple years and couldn't be happier to have you as part of our family. These symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant it all 
every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Now you shall say a few words that take you across a threshold of life. And things will never quite be the same between you two. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. I, Matthew, take you, Emily, to be my wife. I will share my life with yours, build our dreams together, support you through times of trouble, and rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you respect, love, and loyalty. I, Emily, take you, Matthew, to be my husband. I will share my life with yours, build our dreams together, support you through times of trouble, and rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you respect, love, and loyalty. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you that you may faithfully live together in this new life as one. Amen. Go for it, you guys. Remember that the best relationship is one in which your love for each other exceeds your need for each other. So love yourselves, love one another, love all that is your life together, and all else will follow.